Hi, in this video I want to show you an easy way how to combine multiple materials or textures to one big atlas texture. We will be using the Blender add-on called Material Combiner and I will also address some common issues that people have with it, such as certain textures not combining properly. The link to this will be down in the description. Scroll down to installation and download the zip file. Go back to Blender, Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, go to your download folder, select the zip file you downloaded and install add-on. Once that is done, it is important to also click this checkbox right here to enable the plugin. Now, if you don't have this sidebar here, you need to press N to toggle it on. And now you should have a tab called Matte Combiner. If you click on Update Material List, it will show you a list of all the materials that you currently have in your scene. If you would press Save Atlas 2 right now, it would combine all these materials and textures into one single atlas. However, usually I recommend people to separate textures with transparency from their other textures. In my case, expressions have transparency for a blushing effect right here. So in my case, I only have one material and texture with transparency, so I deselect this. If you have multiple textures with transparency, you can also just go ahead and put this on layer two and something else on layer two as well. And now all the materials with the same number will get combined. Now, before ever saving an atlas, I always recommend you to make a backup save of the Blender file. I usually just add a underscore atlas to it because going back after an atlas can be a very annoying process. It's always good to have a backup. Now that we have this done, we can save our atlas. The settings here by default are usually fine. Save atlas to select our texture folder and create atlas. And boom, it combined all our textures. However, two materials had some issues, as you can see. The head and the body did not combine properly. So I will press Ctrl Z to go back. And there's a very easy way to find out which materials are the ones with issues. In the list, if you click on the gear icon, you can see the head has an image size of 32 by 32. However, my boots, for example, have the correct image size as it should be. Both the head and the body have 32 by 32 and all the other ones show the proper size. So how do we fix those materials? You need to select your mesh, select the material, and very often these issues occur with MMD stuff, like if you've imported something from MMD. If you select your material here, go to this, this, and then you see on the surface MMD shader def as the uh, surface shader. This can cause issues. So usually it fixes it if you click on here and change it to principled BSDF, which is the default shader in Blender. Then it will not have the texture assigned by default. You can go down to base color, click on that yellow dot, image texture, and then you can go here. It should still be loaded, hat. It will be pink for a little while. And now the texture is properly here. And if we click on the gear icon, it now has the proper image size shown. Sometimes it can also be broken even if the correct shader is already applied. For example, my body material already has principled BSDF. However, it still shows 32 by 32 pixels. In this case, it helps if you simply switch to something else, doesn't matter what, go back to principled BSDF, select your image texture again. And if we check now, it should have the correct size. Another thing that could prevent it from working is textures that are packed into the blend file and that are not externally saved. You can recognize this by clicking your material. And if you look at your texture here, if it has this icon, that means that it is packed internally in the blend file. You can click on this, use file from current directory, and then it will create a folder called textures and extract this one texture. You can also go here to file, external data, unpack resources and click the first thing again, and then it will unpack all of the textures into this folder. And the third thing that could prevent it from working is if your Blender language is set to something that is not English. 
This add-on does only work if your Blender language is set to English. Now we can go ahead and save this atlas once again, create, and now, voila, we have one material on the face, it's still two because we separated the expressions and everything is shown properly. And if we go in here, this is the one we just saved. Everything is there. Now this is probably fine for most people. However, if you want to push optimization a little bit further, you can go even further. This right now is a very high resolution texture of 4K. And it also has a lot of blank space that isn't used. You can probably manually bake this onto a 2K texture while still looking pretty much exactly the same. This is something I want to show you in another video that I will make in the future. If I've already done it, it will be linked down in the description. For now, I hope I helped you and I wish you all a great day. Bye bye.